What's going on, y'all? So, I'm about to do a little bit of cleaning my firearms. Gotta talk all professional and shit like that, but I'm about to clean my firearms. Got some rim oil. All this stuff we get from Walmart. So, it just costs a couple of dollars to pick it up. Um, got the Glock. I keep forgetting what this is sometimes. Glock 4, 5, 9, and 9mm. Nine this is the Taurus, the Taurus G3C. Only thing I like about this, this frame up top is it get a little rusty. This type of whatever. But um, everything unloaded. We'll take the magazines out so y'all can see it. Nothing up in here. Take the magazine out there. Uh, yeah. So I just want to talk about, you know, as I'm cleaning the firearms, I'm just going to talk about life and things like this. Um, so I wonder if anybody ever think, you know, sometimes it'd be scary just to think about life, you know, how it, and how it plays out. It's like you don't know how you're going to pass away or uh, nothing like that. A lot of people, as far as just being like the drug game or, you know, be on the streets and stuff like that, they, um... They probably always, like, they, they got stuff, you know, they be have written on the wall. You know, when people be saying, you know, live by the gun, die by the gun, and things like that. It's like, why you want to go out that way? And then you got some people, man, that get old, pass away in their sleep, you know, and things like that. Or it could be a goddamn bee stain or, you know, whatever. Something just happened so quick. You know anything can happen. We're gonna start with the, uh, the start with the G three C first. That's a little bit smaller, so get this up out the way. But yeah, I think about stuff like that a lot. You know, it just sometimes when you get into an argument with somebody, then it could lead to a whole another situation going on. Don't worry about them. Come back and get my brother, or I'm gonna get my sister. You know, we're going to get the fighting and carrying on. Next thing you know, somebody carrying a, a, a knife or any type of weapon. Next thing you know, your life to be over with. For instance, like I said, for the people um, not really in Baltimore, from Maryland and things like that. It was an incident that happened. Uh, Might have been last month, y'all. These two guys, it was a 14-year-old and a 18-year-old black males. So they wind up robbing like a Best Buy. Next, I was looking at the video. They was taking stuff off the display. You know, as far as it could have been MacBooks, um, the iPhones. You know, people just, just iPhone stuff. They go crazy for it. And um, so they didn't shoot nobody out there. Like on, on the video, you know, the guy was, you know, pointing the gun around and things like that. But they didn't pop nobody. It, and there was more people when they showed it. It was like six people, you know, so that I guess they got about the way he was pointing and getting, a, you know, pointing the gun and getting everybody about the way. But then they come here the same day down here on Boston Street. I believe it was in Canton, down in Baltimore City. I don't know how it played out, though, but they, they, they said the two guys went up there. They must have been trying to get more iPhones, and then they shot the the guy that was in there. I think he was in there probably by himself. You know, big big husky um, thing. It should have been Puerto Rican or Mexican or something like that. But yo was cool because me and my homeboy met him. You know, when we was down there, he was cool. You know what I mean? Laid back. He wasn't really no threat to nobody. That's 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 the thing about it. And I don't really know how that played out. But it's like, it had, I was thinking, like, they had to be scared. Like, they probably were scared of his weight size. You know, because it's like, just the way that played out. You don't pop nobody out in New Jersey at that Best Buy. Or whatever, but then you go straight to T-Mobile and just get rid of him out the way. Like, nah, man. So, you know, stuff like this, man. You know, people people go to their jobs. That's why I be telling y'all too, man. These jobs, yo, McDonald's, Targets, Walmart, Burger King, or whatever, T-Mobile stores. You know, some of them stores. That's why they got security in there. That's why they got certain police officers to be at certain stores and things like that. I gotta really be careful, man. And it's sad because y'all put your life on the line. You know, like I was talking to the to the girl at East Point Mall. I'm just gonna clean all this. It'd be oil everywhere, but 
But just like I was um, talking to the girl at East Point Mall, she's security, and I was asking her, like, yo, did they give y'all any mace or anything like that? She was like, no, we just got walkie-talkie. I'm like, damn, like, so you got a walkie-talkie somebody while a couple kids in there beating the hell out you. Like, like, hey, come and help me. Somebody come and help. <laughs> like, come on, man. So this the type of stuff that y'all put your life on the line for. Y'all got to understand that, man. You know, these types of jobs, yo, like, and then something happened to you, they go hire somebody else. It's like, you know, so I want y'all to think about that sometime. That's why I'll be telling my nephew and anybody, like, yo, it's cool to work, you know, but make sure you work and you go ahead, make sure you work, go ahead, save your money up, and then you could go ahead and just start your own business or do whatever you want to do, man. No, because that's the chance, that's the thing about, that's the chance that we got to take, yo. Like, for real, I can only imagine what people, like, through McDonald's go through. You know, how, hello, man, take your order and all that. Then the order be wrong and then something go wrong. Like, I done seen people come in there just fight people and all that. No, nah, it wasn't right. Come on, man, y'all mess my burg up every time I come in. I'm like, yo, calm down, brother. Like, shit gonna be all right. This is a lot of oil, but, it's, you know, it be oiled up. But, yeah, I be like, yo, come on, man, like. It ain't that serious. So that's the thing about, you know, just life and even with these firearms and anything. Like I said, life, man, just full of surprises. And I don't think a lot of people just really think about it sometimes. Like, damn, man, I ain't going to be here forever. Like, I'm really going to pass away. You know, but it's just you enjoy your life so much. You know, you might do your drugs, your drinking, or smoking your weed and things like that. Not really thinking about, like, anything that could happen. And I believe in... You know, the most high. I believe in, um, I guess people say karma. I, could, I, believe, I believe in universal law, but goes around, comes around. You know, and things like that. So, I just, it go, everything I believe is just go by energy. Like, the spirit is a ball of energy. So, that's what I'll be thinking. I'll be like, that's why I try to make sure I put out a good, you know, a, a amount of energy, enough good energy to the point where nothing really won't happen too bad to me. What the hell I'm looking for? Yeah, and um, that's why I try to tell everybody, especially when you got kids, man. You know, I tell my homeboys and them. So I tell them all the time, like, yo, just worry about the kids first. You know what I mean? That's why I tell every person, I don't have no kids, yo. But it's not about you no more, man. You can't be smoking and drinking like a fish, and you got kids, yo. You see how I stress that last word, kids. Like, you can't be doing this, man. It's not about you anymore. Yeah, I'm ready to get turned up. I don't give a goddamn what's going on. Like, and people just forget about, yo, somebody mess with me, it's going down. And it's mostly the black people. Now, now, now I know white people. I know how y'all get drunk. And uh, I've been around y'all, so I know how everything go with y'all. You know, most of the time, y'all have a good time and things like that. Y'all might get in a couple fights here and there. But I, I rarely see any white person go back like, you know what? I'm going to get my pistol. You know, like, it just, it depends on that situ uh, type of situation. Now, you might see white people fight at Oreo, I mean, a baseball game, you know, uh, football and shit like that. But you rarely see them, like, the way how we get down. You know, somebody, like I said, especially over East Baltimore, somebody can step on your feet or eat your honey bun. Your last honey bun, they just ready to zap out. They ain't no nothing. It's just wild even thinking about it. Just ready to zap the hell out like, yo, calm down, man. So, the thing about humans, too, we got short fuses and, and you know, I'm ready to do something to somebody. Just like I said in my last video, like when my gun instructor was saying, you know, shout out to Dwayne from um, Guns and Pearls. I think it's Tactical Force. So, if you ever be in Maryland or anything like that, they do be having the gun classes and gun school and things like that. Guns and Pearls, you know, Tactical Force and all that, but... You know, something that stuck with me. He was like, yo, Luke, man. So, you know, he was just talking to the class. Like, just to let y'all know, if anybody come in there, open hand slap you, that don't mean just because you got your firearm, you can pull it out and, and, and do some damage. So you got to match force with force. So if somebody open hand slap you and all that, like, you just got to get down with it. Get down with the get down. You can't get mad if you're losing. You know what I mean? Like, it just, you know, and some people did have got beat up before with their firearm on them. You just got to take an ass whooping. That's really about it. Like, you know what I mean? Because you know what you could do. Um, even my homeboy, Manny, told me, Manny, man, he was like, man, yeah, Luke, you got the power now to send somebody to the upper room. And I was, it was funny, but I was thinking about it, like, he damn sure ain't lying, though. 
So you got a big responsibility when you get these firearms and all that. So they look cool. I might get me one more because I might I want to get me a pocket rocket. But um, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know, just going back to what I was talking about. It's a lot that goes in to this life stuff, man. Life is just be ups and downs, ups and downs on a consistent basis. Like it's just a roller coaster. Like it's just it's never it never stops like that. You know what I mean? It's just you wake up something new, or you wake up somebody passed away. You know, you wake up and that's the only thing I hate about this one. It's always just like I gotta wiggle this one on here. I hate it. I love the gun though, but it's just I don't know why it be like that. God damn. Alright, nice and smooth. That thing bang though, this 9mm be sending like glory. It's my green too. Anyway, get that out of the way. Let's go to the Glock 4-5. Got the Glock 4-5 in my hand to the end of the man. Center the man. This one was about like 565 80. I think the G3C was about like 280. Pay that for that, but yeah. So I'll be trying to get everybody, especially me too. I don't sometimes it could be the zodiac sign, but it's like we do got to calm down when a lot of things be going on because we everybody can get mad over something. Like I said, it's been situations when people got uh killed over a parking spot or somebody picking on their kid or one of the other persons, you know what I mean? It just somebody just told me a, a story or something, you know. I forgot who just told me that. And a guy was said that, um, I think it was just at T-Mobile. I mean, not T-Mobile, it was at Liz. We was talking about something, though. So I think something where a uh, person was telling me, like, the person, kid was getting bullied or something like that, and the parent got tired of it. And he just went to the school and beat the girl up, but beat somebody up. See what I'm saying? It's just like, then you got grown people fighting kids. It's just it's just off the hook with this world, man. So sometimes, you know, I be thinking, and it, it ain't even just my people. Like, that's what I'm saying about it. It's just humans in general. It's all about power. It's all about follow the leader. That's why you got all these religions or, you know, everybody, a gang member. It's just something, yo. It's just somebody in something. And it's like, damn, like, you got your own life. You know, why you don't just take the time out and try to figure out your life and your purpose? That's all it is. I mean, of course you're going to go through some things and stuff like that, but it's like, come on, man. Like I said before, even the definition, I think, Christ or Christian, it just means, you know, being a follower of Christ or Christ-like. So can't nobody be like Christ or Muhammad or, or you know, Hindu, Buddhism, or if they, whatever. Any of them leaders, like, can't nobody be like them? And I think a lot of people always try to be like them. That's why you got your pastors you know, they always come, I'm coming in the name of the Most High, I'm coming in the name of Jesus Christ. And like I said in the last video, just take all your money. You were supposed to get your tires changed, all this other stuff. Pastor got all of it. Sitting home, eating the brownies and, you know, about to eat turkey wings and cornbread or something like that. And just all sitting back chilling. He getting fat and lovely. Just like you got these people like T.D. Jakes, Bishop Eddie Longdang, that Negro passed away. You know what I mean? Then you got Joe Alstein, if that's his name. You know, he got the big, big church, like a Super Bowl church. I know he getting paid lovely. You know, but that's the stuff y'all believe in, man. You know, everybody, like I said, when they say I come in the most high name, you're going to believe that. And there's something in the past. It's something in the Bible, too. I just, I'll be quoting wrong sometimes. But I believe it's something like that. You know, like I'm saying, like a lot of people want to come in my name. Or something, because you got, you know what I mean, it's always trying to be somebody who's trying to be like a savior or something like that. And they just, it doesn't work. Everybody, oh, man going to always fall. You know, man can only do so much. But when a man when man be trying to come in like the most high name, I can make these changes for you and all that. You know, manipulate women. You know, a lot of y'all women just fall right for it. You know, when certain men tell y'all things and stuff like that. So, you know, the stuff I talk about, man. It's just normal life, just getting anybody to think, and that's the thing about me, I don't be trying to be right, like I tell my nephews and everybody, I don't be trying to be right in them, I just be trying to get people to think, like certain stuff that I think about, and I be like, damn, is that Russ? You know, looking at what I'm looking at. I be trying to get people to, yeah, just to think about what I be thinking about, and that's why I tell people, I say, you notice your pictures, videos, and your voice can live longer than your flesh on the earth. 
And that's what I'll be trying to get everybody to think about. Because like I said, I'm always on YouTube, man, looking at some of my favorite singers that's not here. Luther Vandross, Whitney Houston, Teddy Pendergrass. Um, who else? Uh, like, you know, uh, Billy Paul. There's a couple other people. I forgot. It was somebody I was, I was trying to name, though. But it's just stuff like that. But you could, uh, um, damn, but Otis Redden. Yeah, the Temptations, you know, some whoever passed away. You name it, though. But it's stuff like that where it's like, damn, I usually would take this out. But I'm going to keep that in there. But when you think about stuff like that, that's why I say leave a legacy. <clears throat> you know, because it's like, you got to ask yourself, what are you going to leave behind on the earth? Is you you gonna leave nothing but drama? Cause you got some people. That's why I be tripping off sometimes. You know what I mean? Is that that's why I be tripping off stuff like that? What it's like if you got people on the earth just causing destruction, dog. I mean, and, and a certain person, like I said, I could throw in that. Just like my brother. You know, if anybody ain't look at that video, I was talking about the brother's beef. Go check that out. But it's just like it's stuff like that where just people come on the earth just for destruction, and it's. I don't understand it. So the Most High got his angels and the devil got his angels. You feel what I'm saying? Or workers. Devil got his workers and God got his workers. But the definition of devil just means deceiver. Definition of God just means power. You know what I mean? So that's why I said somebody on everybody's team. You know, I believe that I'm here to work for the Most High. And there's some other people here just really to work for the devil, man. And that's what I said in my other video too as well. It's like if my brother was willing to give his life to the most high and just trying to make a change, like I said, we wouldn't be best buddies or nothing like that, but you got to just make a change for yourself. And then once everything aligned, then, you know, I, you know, because the energy, I could match that. Then I'm like, yo, all right, he, yo, he is really trying to make a change. That's not on an overnight thing. Look at me with this, not drinking no more. You know, a year and six months clean. I've been drinking a long time. I've been drinking since the age of 17. I'll be 37 this year. You see what I'm saying? Just do the math on that. I know like I'll be cleaning the same spots, and I'm just trying to make sure. There's a lot of oil, too. I might need to wipe this off, but i use this little towel right here. But that's the stuff I talk about. And I think a lot of people, like I said, don't like the truth. They don't like, you know, you know people love lies and drama. That's why you got love and hip hop and like them type of shows, Bad Girls Club and women fighting all the time and everybody like it's just it's, it's sickening, man. Even with the music, I don't even listen to rap music. People, I, I don't know. People be trying to ask me yo like certain things. I be like, bro, I don't. My main thing it might sound crazy, but I listen to nothing but seventies music and gospel. My man Kirk Franklin throw on some old Kirk Franklin, but most of my playlist is nothing but seventies, a little bit of nineties, and it's mostly R and B. R&B and soul music. I can't really get down. But the only rapper that I really love like that, you know, would be Lauryn Hill. And then you got like Tupac and everybody else like that. But Lauryn Hill, man, she just, she sang and rap and she did it well. You know, she talk about stuff and things like that. So that's my girl to the fullest. But yeah, man, so I'm finished with this. But yeah, I just be wanting y'all, like I said, I just try to make videos to make y'all think about certain things. And you just, like I said in my other video before, trying new things. You know, this is the time, man, to try to, we got to figure this out. We got to figure this out, man. And, you know, just have some fun because you do the same stuff. You do this, I got that right. Or you do the same stuff all your life. It's like, that's about it. And you start to get addicted to it. You start to get addicted to it and all that. Sometimes you got to watch that. I know a lot of people probably pinch themselves. Right up in here. I'm trying to make sure. All right, well. Look at this right here. But yeah, people, you just got to gotta do what you got to do for yourself, man. And especially if you got kids and all that. That look crazy, right? Hmm. I wonder why I should keep this on here. I could, I'll just take the damn thing off. I gotta find it. I'm tripping. How the hell? See, I'm, I'm still gotta learn myself. I forgot the little, uh, alright. But yeah, but, so they all clean. So I just wanted to talk a little bit too, as well. But yeah, y'all, so, 
Leave a comment, tell me what y'all think. And a lot of times, too, when I be talking about certain stuff like this, a lot of people really don't leave comments. So they, are, they really just worried about what a lot of the unboxings and phones and, and technology. A lot of that stuff be getting a little boring to me. Like I said, but it's cool It's cool to, to have it and do it. But, um, you know, like I said, it's all about the message and everything I do. Because that's all it is. Like I said, if something happened to me, I just want I want replay value like that. Like, yo, Leap was really... You know, because I ain't, this not no facade with me. This not nothing made up. I don't got time to be just talking like this, just to talk like this. Like, if anybody know me, they'll let you know. I was even talking like this when I was drunk a lot. You know, but it, it didn't it didn't make too much sense because it's like, how you going to talk about God and stuff like that and you just drunk? And I noticed that every time I was drunk, though, like, the, the, I don't know, the universe would send people my way and we just really start talking about the Bible and stuff like that. Drunk. You know what I mean? So I never understood that, like... It's, it's wild, but I appreciate y'all watching my video. Definitely got to go to the um, gun range soon. Definitely going to go this summer. Probably take a couple people with me because I ain't shoot these in a minute, but I'll make sure I keep them clean because a lot of times they can just get rusty just by sitting there, especially this one. You know, but uh, the next one I'm going to get is going to be a little pocket rock. It's going to be way smaller than this because I need something smaller. I like both of these. This for the house and this, you know, my way and carry, my everyday carry right here. I right, appreciate y'all watching my video. Peace.